Now to the new clues in the University of Idaho murder mystery, including why authority the tracking down a certain vehicle and the new police body camera footage. Mola Lenge has the latest. This morning, a new clue in the search for the killer of four University of Idaho students. Detectives now asking the public for help locating a white 2011 to 2013 Hyundai Elantra, similar to these stock photos, with an unknown license plate, saying they're interested in speaking with its occupants, who may have critical information to share regarding this case. Police also saying the car was seen in the immediate area of the home where the victims were killed early on November 13th. That can mean a number of things. It could be that they have eliminated all the cars in the proximity of the victim house. They cannot figure out what or why this car was there that night. This could be just an elimination. It could be a witness or it could be a suspect. Now, as the investigation enters its 26th day, ABC News obtaining new body camera footage from that night showing an unrelated police stop nearby at about 3 a.m., around the time authorities believed the murder took place. Police stopping three people for an alcohol offense in a field near the victim's home and near the Sigma Chi fraternity where two of the victims, Zaina Kernodal and Ethan Chapin, had been earlier that night. People in the video have been cleared, and the incident was not related to the murders, but analysts say the video could still be used in the case. It can be used from a historic standpoint. That information could potentially become relevant later in the investigation because you just never know. The victim's home remains an active crime scene, but on Wednesday, investigators gathering items no longer needed in the investigation to give to the victim's families. We just went in together belonging so that the family can have some of that stuff. You know, we have a job to do, and right? we're going to do it to the best of our ability. And uh, we owe this to the family. We owe this to the victims. Well, nearly one month into this investigation, no suspects identified, no arrests. Victims' families have been growing increasingly frustrated with the lack of developments. One victim's father has actually hired an attorney, Robin, in the hopes of getting some answers on his own. Yes, all right, Mola. Thank you for your reporting. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.